Hi, welcome to my channel. Today's video is kind of a two-part topic. I'm going to be demonstrating how to pressure check the cooling system of a 2003 Porsche 911 996 Turbo and demonstrating the tool that is used to actually perform that check and fill. So without further ado, let me go ahead and show you my setup and what I've got, what I've been working on. As some of you know, this is a, was as a result of one of my coolant uh, coolant fittings popping out. So I repaired that, and now I'm ready to put everything back together. But before I do that, we're going to make sure that cooling system is not leaking. Check it out. Okay, so as some of you know, there is another video coming out that actually shows how I performed the coolant pipe fitting pop-out repair and pinning. Um, so without revealing too much that's going to be in that video, this is what we're working on. And we went ahead and pinned all of these fittings. And I actually had to put one back in that popped out. But today's video is on actually refilling the coolant system. And before we refill it, we want to test it. So I got a new cap here. And here's my setup for filling and testing over here. So some of you on the forums know that we went back and forth and back and forth about whether or not you need to use Porsche coolant or not. I don't really know enough yet to say one way or the other, but to be on the safe side, I'm going to go ahead and just use the Porsche coolant. Now, this is the tool that we'll be using today. And all it does basically is it uses a Venturi system to pull a vacuum on the system and then you switch out your fitting. And we're gonna use this little tube here and I'll put it down to the bottom of this uh, little bucket I have here. And we'll go ahead and suck through this filter here all the coolant into the system. Now, you're supposed to use deionized water, okay, 50-50 with the coolant. And I'll be mixing to pour and add with this picture as we go along. So you'll see me with a little green pitcher. What the heck's he doing? Uh, I'll be pouring in as we watch the level go down because it goes down really fast. And of course, we'll purge the air that's in this pipe out. Uh, initially, I'll show you how we do that. So without too much additional chit chat, let's get started. Because this process is pretty simple. One quick point about the um, coolant, um, I guess there's some Pentison at O'Reilly for $16.95 for 1.5 liters. Well, I got these two gallons for $42 a piece, and if you do the math, 1.5 liters at $16.95 a piece translates and converts to $42 a gallon. <laughs> so it's about the same. So outside of the drive, there really wasn't much of a price difference. I know there are some other brands out there that are cheaper, but today we're just gonna stay with the, um, the Porsche uh, coolant. Now listen to this. This is nerd, a digression. I digress, I'm sorry, but I couldn't help it. I do this kind of stuff all the time. This is gonna reveal the true nerd in me. The conversion for inches of mercury to PSI is 0.499, no, 0.491154. So it's 0.491154. Well, if you take the five and the four and you add it together, you get another nine, right? So now you have two nines, 0.491159. Well, if you take the two ones and add it to the four in the beginning, you have a six. So what's that? Two nines and a six is what? 996. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. All right, so let's go ahead and do the testing. All right, so first off, I'm gonna take the uh, gauge and this little unit here. There's different size uh, rubber uh, rings that go with coming to kit, and they can actually fit all different makes and models of vehicle. Now, another thing is this gauge is in inches of mercury. And inches of mercury to PSI conversion, as I said earlier, is 0.491154. So this goes up to 30 inches of mercury, so that's only gonna be 15 PSI. So a lot of you guys go, we should go 20 or 21 PSI. Well, this doesn't go up to that. So you're just gonna have to know that this is going up to 
this 30 is only 15 psi, a little less than 15 psi, which it's going to be fine. We'll just put it on like so. I'm going to put this in there and, uh, you know, I don't think that's the right one. That's not the right size. So I have to get another size. Get another slice here, see which one, which one fits too big. Mm -hmm. oh. All right, so of the three rings, this is the one that's gonna fit my uh, coolant reservoir. You slide them, that's how you put them on. You slide it on just like that, just like so. All right, and then it'll fit right in there. And this will squeeze down and expand it. And this, this swivels, it doesn't, it doesn't screw on, it swivels so you can see what you're doing. And then you just turn this. I should probably give you a closer view of that. I'll give you a closer view of that part. Real time. Look at that. I can see what I'm doing. Uh, we just take this and we try to tighten it. I don't want to put my hand in front of it. But I did. I need to put my hand in front. You have to just hold this steady when you turn and, and turn it until it gets tight. You want to make sure it's good and tight, otherwise you're going to leak. And that's going to make your whole process be of no consequence. So we're getting tight here. We want it to be good and tight though. Turn that and keep this system from turning with it as it tightens. Good and tight. All right. Next. All right. So next, we're going to actually pull the vacuum. So that this part of the kit is right here. Okay. So this small end, there's two different sides, one for your air, for your compressor, and one for your, your gauge. So you take this and you plug it into your gauge, like so, okay. And then I have my air here, and I'm going to, I'm going to close this, close this. You want the valve across to close, and I'm going to, This is the wrong kind of. Oh, you got to be kidding me! I got the wrong kind of hose on here. I got to change this fitting. Oh, dude! I should cut this out of the video. This sucks. Okay, I pirated the correct air fitting from one of my other one of my other air tools. My goodness! All right, so let's try this again. All right, so this goes on. Pull back. It's a little miniature guy, and then we got our air from the compressor. So we're going to pull this back, see if that makes you go this way. So let's watch this. Let me, I want to get in close and watch the gauge. So let's, let's get in close. Okay, I'm going to let it sit there, see if it holds, and I'm going to go and recharge the air compressor. Be right back. Alright, so I got the air compressor back up to 120 PSI. I was down to 80. Okay, so that's about as 
much vacuum as we're gonna get out of this. So let's hook it up. It looks like it's holding. I'll let it hold for like five minutes, see if it's still there, and then we'll go ahead and start filling the system. All right, so now we're gonna add our 50-50 mix of deionized water and coolant to my little tub I have here. And we're gonna start sucking it into the system. Okay, so I've got a little tape here, and I'm going to go uh, refrigerant, and then I'm going to go deionized water. I'm going to dump them both into my little bucket. So here we go. watch it go down and we're gonna go ahead and open her up now I'm gonna stop it when I see the red get here and repressurize it so let's open it up slow a oh, little bit more Woo! and it goes quick and then I'm gonna repressurize that little bit to purge that air out and then we'll let it rip See what we can get here. A little bit more. That should do it. Now we're gonna let her rip. And that goes down fast, man. I'm gonna have to keep our eye on the level because. Okay, here goes nothing. Let's see how fast that goes down. Gee whiz. Sucks it in. Nice. Look at that go down. Make sure I shut it off and put some more in before I suck air. Put my hand on the little valve here as you can see. And we can add pressure as we need to. Alright, so let's see where we're at here. Well, we need to add fluid and then we'll add pressure and we'll go at it again.
pressure's back up pretty good. We're gonna add more fluid again. Wow. Okay, filled up for the third time, ready to go. It's pulling hard, look at that. Hopefully drive this thing today. We'll see how it goes. I think we're full here though. All right, this is going to be the final pull. It's just about full here. The reservoir is above minimum. Almost a mat. Okay, there we go. And it's full up to my all the way up to where you put the cap on. It's like barely, barely, oh, and then it pulls air. That's perfect. Ha, look at that. The perfect amount. And so now, I probably just let that go. And pull whatever little bit of air is left and see where the, where the level really is. And then I can just top it off. So it's right in between max and min which is fine it's no pressure nothing and there it is so now we can take this top off there's no pressure yeah. there we go nice Put in a little bit more like so That is full. Here's our new cap. Time to button her up and go for a drive.